finding deals. How are you going to create deal flow into your business? Now, <clears throat> this is an important, important uh, function of your business because you can do everything else right, but without a deal, you have nothing. Actually, the return on investment on deals you don't do will always be zero. And so, you know, you can do everything right. You can do the branding part. You can, you know, you can build up your Instagram. You can have like 100,000 followers and everybody just wants to give you money. And you want to, you, you can do all of these things. But at the end of the day, if you don't have deals, you have nothing. And so that's why I wanted to bring this subject to this mastermind. How to find deals. And we'll, we'll talk about that and um, we'll get into, you know, how we would use Realtor.ca to, to look for deals. So we're going to start there. Realtor.ca. Of course, you got to get really good at using the, this website you know so you go on there you want to be specific and, and in just a moment we'll jump on here and we'll we'll go through uh, the exercise of just like searching around how would an investor look for particular deals the realtor.ca there's there's specific thing ways that you have to you I want you to learn how to do so at the very beginning at the very beginning I simply just want you to email I want you to email and get info, okay? And then I want you to underwrite. Now, when I say underwriting, of course, you know, uh, a lot of you guys are going through the coaching with, with, with Talia here. Um, and underwriting simply means you get all of the information and now you make sense of it based on your investor formula and your investor criteria. That's what underwriting means. And so you're going to go on Realtor.ca, you're going to look at a, a few properties, you're going to email the, the Realtor, you're going to get this information right, uh, uh, back, and then you're going to make sense on whether or not this deal makes sense, does it have the proper cash flow, is, it, you know, it, is there uh, capital expenditures, ha have, they added, have you added property management, and so that's, that's underwriting, and you can, you can know a little bit more about that through the, the coaching with, with Talia. But the next step is calls. Now, this is an important function of your business. This is how you are going to build up deal flow. So every conversation you're going to have with an agent. Now, at the very beginning, your real estate IQ hasn't been developed to the point where you can actually identify true deals. And at the very beginning of your career, you're actually going to be just looking at it, you know, at, at, as much as you can, right? You're going to talk to as many people as you can. And so what you want to do is start building relationships with some of these agents where, number one, they understand that you are an investor. Number two, they understand the criteria of the deals that you're looking for. And before you hang up any call... The words that come out of your mouth are, are extremely important. Hey, this deal looks interesting. I might be interested in this one, but here's my criteria on any other deals. So if you find anything that meets this criteria, why don't you send it my way? So now, let's say you, you're talking to five or six agents, or let's say five agents a week. That's like 20 agents now. And at some point, someone is going to find something that meets your criteria. And so what you want to do is develop deal flow. Next part, really important, the walkthroughs. Walkthroughs. What does this mean? You're literally now walking the property. You are walking the property, walking the property. What does this mean? Are you buying the property? No. Are you putting an offer in the property? No. You're just walking the property. You're, going, you're, you're doing a, a visit. You want to see what the property has to offer, what, what, what's, you know, what, you know, how many rooms. Now, here's a few things that happen when you do a proper walkthrough. When you do a walkthrough, 
First of all, you're getting experience. I've done thousands of walkthroughs and I've walked thousands of properties that I've never bought. But because I've walked so many properties, I built up an inventory of knowledge and understanding and context in my mind that now I can look at properties from across the country and buy, the, buy these properties sight unseen because I have a really good understanding and I have a high level of real estate IQ. And so that doesn't just happen. You don't wake up one day and have all, like have all this experience. The only way to get experience is by doing. And the best way to do is simply the walkthroughs. So when you're doing a walkthrough, the first thing that happens is that you gain experience. Well, it looks like the internet kind of cut off here. Let me see. Let me see. Recording here. in progress. Yeah, something happened with the, the the internet here. Give me a, give me just a moment. I'm going to change uh, internet here. Can everybody see me? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I think. So. Okay, good, good. Thank you guys. We, that. This is very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Hey, can you can everybody see me? Yes. Okay, so it looks like the internet got cut off right there for just a moment. So no no worries. Yeah. Everybody everybody still okay? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna survive. We're gonna survive the glitch, the gl the great glitch of 2021. So okay, so uh, uh, everybody can uh, go back to meeting themselves. So walkthroughs, experience. That's number one. The more walkthroughs you do, the more experience you gain. The more walkthroughs you do, the more understanding you gain of how the mechanical room looks like. What do tenants look like? At the very beginning, and <clears throat> if you've ever, uh, if, if you remember going back to the, when you, when you first got your driver's license, you got in that, you got in that vehicle, and you were very self-conscious, conscious, and you were worried about everything. Short of check, you know, this, that, the other, and then now you do it, it's kind of like you drive, you don't even think about it, right? That's exactly the same way when you're looking at real estate, and at, at the very beginning of your career, you're going to be looking at things that don't even matter. But you're just so focused on everything, you don't even know where to look at. And then after you build up this experience, you, when you've looked at multiple, multiple, multiple deals, it's going to be just like driving, right? You, now you're, you, you learn how to look at the high level things, the things that, that, that matter. And so the only way to do this walkthroughs that's that's the only way right getting that experience getting out there if you sit in a in a classroom and learn all about walkthroughs you you're not even going to come close to understanding what it's like to be in the field feeling it touching it having tenants scream and yell and this guy and that guy hoarders you know the first time you see a property with a hoarder you're going to be like oh my god and then you'll you'll, you'll realize like wait a minute uh that's not that uncommon right and so you got to get used to it. Now, the other function of these walkthroughs is that the agent now sees you in the field. And so now you can make a connection with the agent, give him your, your, your business card, bam, you know, and, and now you can talk about your criteria. And if there's any other deals in the future, why don't you reach out? Okay, so now this agent, you make this connection, he sees you in the field, you came, you, 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 you dress, you know, professionally, you're, you're, you, you know, you have a, a business card. This is why branding is important because, you know, they're going to go check you out right after. The second you meet an agent, they're, they're going to check you out to see if you have the ability of transacting. And so the walkthroughs play multiple parts in creating deal flow because if you're connecting with agents on the phone, and you're talking to agents in the field, the, what you say actually improves every single time you make one of these, these interactions. And so the deal flow is important. Now, the next, the next level is the private deals in the wholesalers because we're not going to be pigeonholed to just Realtor.ca. You actually want to connect with people outside of realtor.ca and so you can go to fisbo sites 
Fisbo for sale by owner, right? For sale by owner. This is like Purple Bricks or De Proprio in on the Quebec side. You want to take advantage of people selling their properties privately because you are not uh, you're not as affected to what's going on in the market where there's a lack of inventory and you know and uh, people are trying to uh, you know everybody's fighting for the same the same properties because they can only go to realtor.ca that's where everybody goes but because properties are going up in value people are like whoa I'm not gonna give so much money to the realtor I'm just gonna keep that money I'm gonna sell the, the property uh, privately so Fisbo websites like Do Proprio, uh, there, you know, you can go to even Kijiji. You have the ability of connecting with sellers, right? Connecting with sellers directly. And if you show that you know what you're doing, actually what's going to happen is you're going to build really good relationships because if, if you're connecting with an investor, chances are they probably have other deals and so even if that deal doesn't work out you could say if there's any other deals is there anything interesting that kind of fits within my uh, within my criteria you know send it my way now you got private sellers sending you things okay here's the next one wholesalers wholesalers okay so wholesalers this gives this is a perfect opportunity if to tap into, we talk about OPM, other people's money, we talk about o, uh, OPC, other people's credit, but we, we don't really talk about other people's time. These are, you know, if someone's a wholesaler, they're investing their time, they're going out there, they're hustling, they're, they're, they're putting out yellow letter campaigns, they're talking to private sellers, they're, 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 they're connecting with everyone. There's an opportunity to actually pick something up from a wholesaler and actually make a relationship with a real wholesaler, you give them your criteria and maybe they can be in a position to go out there and find something specifically for you. And so this could be a really good source. You wanna go privately, you can go to all these web, uh, FISBO website, Kijiji, De Propio, um, and, and actually don't forget about wholesalers. Now, of course, you need to know what a deal looks like. You're not gonna just buy any deal from a wholesaler. You wanna make sure that you understand your criteria what you're looking for and it needs to meet your criteria and if it does it does network okay so we're going to use your social your social media platforms your social media platforms your your facebook your 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 instagram your linkedin you know you want to create the 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 branding of you being an actual investor because the second you meet a realtor or you, you a seller or a wholesaler anyone the the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna go check you out online and if you look serious they'll take you seriously so everything about you needs to say you are an investor okay so you're gonna use your social media platforms after you've done the branding to send out messages out there hey I'm looking for deals if you have deals off market, off market, off, off market deals, if you have off market deals, why don't you send them my way, right? You can, you can go on all the different uh, real estate groups, say, hey guys, we're looking for deals. Willing to, I'm willing to pay cash, cash. And you'll get a thing, hold on a second, wait a minute, I don't have the cash. It really doesn't matter. Just you, what you're doing right there is you're attracting if you if you found a really good deal, you figure out how to you know get the cash if it was a really good deal, and so you want to attract these sellers to you. You want to go into these communities, these groups, right, and, and connect with other investors that have properties, and then you drop that ma those magic words. Hey, if you're in a, ever in a position where you want to unload your portfolio give me a call, right? Send me an email, let's connect. And so what, what's gonna happen is, you're gonna start building up a seller's list. So all of this work, right, is gonna create deal flow, but the objective is to start building up your seller's list. These are, these are lists 
of people that have properties that they don't know they want to sell yet. But there's going to come a time. There's going to come a time. The four D's. Okay? The four D's. Four D's. Death, divorce, disaster, disease. Those are the four D's. When something happens in someone's life, they become extremely motivated. And this is what you're looking for. You're looking for motivated sellers. They may not be motivated at that time. But if you do the work in making the connections with other sellers and you push it to Zoom calls where people can understand exactly what you're looking for, exactly what your criteria is, you start building out your list of sellers. And maybe you send newsletters to your sellers and say, hey, you know, have you thought of selling, right? And then you can have a list where it says this guy has this amount of uh, uh, doors, you know, triplexes, this has, you know, at some point, someone is going to want to sell, right? So don't be limited to just the Realtor.ca. Look at all the different uh, people in the industry. To build up my sellers list, I'm going to go to people, I'm going to look at, uh, I'm going to look at lawyers, right? Mortgage brokers, but basically anybody in the industry, accountants, accountants, you're going to connect with these, this, these industry professionals and say, listen, if you know anyone that wants to sell privately or, or is looking to unload their, 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 uh, their deals, send them my way. Make that connection. And maybe you might, you know, if you're just meeting people, say, you know what? In your social media platforms, say, I'll give a thousand bucks. You can say, you can put it, you know, once you build a really good, a good, uh, you know, presence on social media, you can say, I'm going to give a thousand bucks to someone that brings me a deal that I can close on. And so what's going to happen? You have multiple people out there, right? Looking for deals, talking to their grandmother, talking to their, their, their sister, their brother, their, you know, and then... What you're going to do is actually create really strong deal flow where every day there's something hitting your inbox. And that's how I want you guys to find deals.